final finale clip. You know, we'll talk we'll talk about it afterwards too. So there's a world out here. A whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers. It's all around us. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Neither heaven nor hell. There's no god or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or... or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible. Merely by the force of my will. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there. That I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time. Tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. Transparent. No more than a fading memory. Still here. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond. What? So I do get to see them again. Okay. Sometimes I could spend hours staring into space, watching no the images as they go by. I play it over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people and I discover faraway places. So Jody connected to Tuesday's kid. The voice told me not to tell anyone. I'm really scared. Especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are 
things moving in the darkness. Strange noises. Whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing. That it'll all go away. But she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. I often have the same dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. I, didn't. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again. Wow. So that's it, huh? Next time, I'll kill everyone. Damn. That is. Thank God. I was so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what we'll find out there. How much time do we have? We activate the self destruct. We're not coming back. Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Can't do it, babe. More than amazing. She's magnificent. So she's getting away. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the game now. This game has been a roller coaster of story. I don't even know you can play the guitar, actually, that's really funny. Oh, so you can actually join her. So I guess that's the other version of it, where if you stay alive, that makes more sense. So, like, anyhow, so let's talk about the game. This game has been fantastic. This story is told beautifully. A lot of the game capture is there. The only things I have a problem with are the controls. Well, the controls and the camera angles. Having, like, one still camera angle brings so much memories back for, like, Resident Evil games. And it was great for that time and period, but you have motion capture, you have all this crazy stuff, like quality assurance, what were you thinking? And speaking of which, there they go. You know, like you have all this stuff that, <clears throat> that basically says, hey, just make it a third person view with a rotating camera. That's all you need. So that, that was the thing. But this game, this game, wow. I was not expecting to, to shed a tear when I first came into this game, and I was so wrong. I, uh, when, like I said, when Willem Dafoe's character, Nathan Dawkins, was, was talking to his wife the first time with Jody as a, as a young girl, very young girl, that happened. That was, like, the most, like, that was the scene right there that, like, killed me. You know? And so that, like, that right there was like, oh my god, like, hurt right in the chest. Uh, you know, and I was just, I, I was like, oh my god. You know, so there was that. I was not expecting that. Uh, another thing, too, is like, the action scenes. Okay, yeah, we get it. You're supposed to follow her course of action. Like, um, like, you see her going right. Push right on the right stick. Well, sometimes it wouldn't work that way. Or I would... You know, I would fuck up. Basically, it wasn't easy to do that. It, it's, it was much simpler to push the buttons like L1, R1, triangle, circle, square, all those buttons to, to get to basically to be able to do that. That was that was a lot easier to do. I actually prefer those kind of controls. So all in all, this game was was fantastic. And I'm hoping you guys had picked it up for PlayStation Plus. Really do. This game was free for PlayStation Plus for the month of May. And this game... If you don't play it for the trophies and you play it just for the story, you will enjoy yourself. Hands down. Enjoyed myself. Uh, am I a little disappointed I didn't pick Ratchet and Clank? Or not, I'm sorry, Ratchet and Clank. Rayman? Uh, no, I'm not disappointed. I actually preferred a storytelling game versus, like, jumping in and laughing at, you know, Looney Tunes adventures. So, really excited for next uh, month's playstation plus free series um don't know what it's gonna be yet but when i find out i will uh 
make a video about it and uh well i won't make a video about it about it i'll be sure to let you guys know uh which one we're going to do so uh whether it be like the end of a siege video or dead by daylight or just like a random like loot crate because i know loot crates supposed to be coming here pretty soon so but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the game uh, I'm just gonna let these credits roll all the way through. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we did. The relationship aspect. There we go. That's another thing I can talk about. The relationships. I only saw the one relationship with Ryan and then that Indian guy. I don't even remember his name actually, but those are the only two names, the only two relationships I saw. And I was. Like, the whole, like, dating simulator for, like, when she's in the kitchen and she has to sit there and pick between, like, Chinese or, like, Korean food or even pizza. Like, no, no relationships ever like that. It's, hey, it's, I have whatever's in the fridge. Or, hey, I made pizza. Or, hey, I ordered pizza. And, you know, you, the whole dating thing, that was just kind of weird. I, I hated the fact that they actually tried bringing a love interest into this. So, I thought that was a little... A little ridiculous um another thing too uh it felt like willem dafoe didn't get enough screen time in my opinion for this this was ma mainly focused for ellen page yes i understand that but it felt like willem dafoe's character had uh more of a father ish uh father ish i guess like role which is what he was supposed to play as but i also felt that cole was was also like not enough in there like you see him like when she takes when she takes him to go see her mom yes that's fair but at the same time i think that there could have been uh you know a better thing uh created by quantic dream quantic dream man you guys nailed it this game was like i said <clears throat> very good from the info world i know you are watching me epilogue choice here we go so now we can see some of the choices that we made wandered the info world Okay. I guess there's one, two, three, four, five different paths. So that's pretty cool. Or five more paths I could have taken. So, very cool game. Uh, she's wearing a beanie now. I wonder if I just hit continue. Will it? Okay, so it takes me back into the epilogue. There's a world out here. All right, hang on. Whole universe full. Yeah, so it's the same thing. So we'll just go back to the main menu. Uh, final thoughts. Final thoughts on this game. Very final, very definite, de definite thoughts. There's actually additional content. Hang on. Bonuses. I found design packs. It's the origins of Beyond Two Souls. Kara or Kara? I guess I have that one. I got six. Performance capture and Beyond Two Souls. Design pack number 10. Let's check out design pack number 10, I guess. Oh, that's pretty good. Goodbye, Jody. I like that one. My dog is losing it. The condensers. That's pretty good, too. What else is here? Hang on. The Dark Sorcerer? I don't know what this is. Shrouded by dark. I think this is a trailer. You know, we'll just hold off on that. Anyhow, final final thoughts. Uh, this game was fun. This game was fun, and I wish other people would play it. That way, I could talk to them about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play series, and uh, you know, we'll uh, obviously we'll see you guys next month. Bye.